2K is back at it again, guys, and they just banned a lot of people in my team. And if you're like me and you want to see 2K add ways to make MT by playing their game, then leave a like right now on the video. And also let me know down below in the comments what you guys think about people being banned and stuff like that. Because as we know, 2K has been banning people for purchasing MT, you know, my team points. However, though, they are now banning people by accident. I've been seeing so many people tell me that they have been banned by 2K by just selling a player that they batched out. Or maybe they ended up selling their team and stuff like that. And it's just insane that 2K is even banning people from playing their game. They're doing the opposite of what people are asking for. We're asking for free dark matters. We're asking for free locker codes. We're asking for any type of locker codes or just anything to do in the game. Or maybe just even better pack odds because that's one of the reasons that people do buy MT because the pack odds are so trash, less than 2%. And instead of 2K changing, they're out here banning people from playing the game. And 2K really thought that by tweeting that out, it was going to stop people from buying MT and yet take a look at this and beat sold for 13 million then you got bridges for 20 million and so 2k can see that people are still buying it because this mb literally just happened yesterday it says yesterday's largest auction now sell and so people are still doing it and so instead of 2k releasing locker codes you know free locker codes new locker codes free player events free dark matters or just better pack odds instead of doing all that that we have been asking for no they actually ended up updating their policy and now they're making it where they're banning people for 30 days Days instead of 10 days and then if you do it again you are permanently banned from playing the game and that's just crazy because now people are also being banned accidentally and that's just insane to me because when you take a look in the auction house 2k is the reason that people are buying mt because their pack odds are so trash take a look at this actually we're gonna take a look at lebron james right lebron came out with the playoff set and look how many are in the auction house we got one two three four five six seven there's seven lebrons up right now bro and this one literally just came up so before that there were six actually before these two there was five and so there's seven lebrons right now in the market and it's the same with other players too now you would think oh lebron maybe came out six months ago five months ago that's why he's rare no he literally just came out the playoffs just started look at Giannis right here there's not even that many for Giannis either we got one two three four five six seven there's seven of them seven that's how you know the odds are trash and then even the heroes you guys know the heroes are super rare super expensive you're looking at kevin Durant out here let's see how many are in the market wow there's one two three four five six i'm starting to think that 2k is the one putting these cards up because why is there always six or seven isn't that kind of crazy like why is there only six to seven of these rare dark matters like 2k are you the one putting up these cards are they really that rare maybe they're even more rare than we think and it's just mind-blowing now obviously 2k already came out and said hey you're gonna get banned if you buy mt so if you buy mt you're risking it for the biscuits but now people are being banned accidentally you can look at my boy carlo right here he tweeted out that he got banned again for selling a juiced out luca and then also you know yo kids basically he batched them out with hall of fame badges and then they sold for more because that's how it usually is that's how bad the game has gotten where now cards are selling for so much mt with just extra hall of fame badges because they're rare and hall of fame badges obviously people want to get better players and so 2k now is banning people for getting more mt than usual because they're selling players and instead of just i just oh dude i feel like 2k is just all over the place this year they're really banning people and you know that he accidentally got banned because not even an hour later he tweeted out that he got unbanned and so obviously 2k is banning people that shouldn't be banned and that's what's even crazier too because how many people are being banned right now that don't have twitter or maybe they don't have somewhere to vent or maybe somebody to talk to to get unbanned like other people and it's just so unfair for them as well because 2k is out here banning people instead of changing their ways and changing the pack odds and adding you know maybe player events like they used to they just want to keep banning people over and over and over again and i just feel like 2k needs to look in the mirror because they're the problem 2k you are the problem you need to be the one to change before you expect other people to change for example just even two months ago which is a long time by the way they actually ended up adding a player weekend events right for some free galaxy opals Jokic, tatum and then zion and then some other pink diamonds but the problem with this was the fact that they made them non-auctionable and they gotta stop adding players that are non-auctionable let us make mt how are you expecting people to not buy mt when people can't make Make MT by playing your game. Just even in previous 2Ks, you added a free Galaxy Opal Tracy McGrady that you could sell. Guys, this T Mac was sellable. If you were lucky enough to get him, which by the way, he was rare, but if you got him, you were making about 800,000 MT to 1 million. Yes, you heard me correctly 800K plus 
by getting Tracy McGrady. And that's just one example, by the way. They also ended up adding an invincible Giannis that you could sell. He was not non-auctionable. He wasn't like, you know, stuck in your collection forever. No, if you got him, you either kept them and used them or you sold them for empty and then you were able to buy the players that you wanted in the auction house. And so instead of 2K, you know, doing that, they're just banning people. We had this event right here with all these free players. You literally got onto the game every single weekday. You ended up unlocking a gold player all the way to a dark matter, from a gold to a dark matter. Now we're not even getting that. And you would think with 2K adding non-auctionable players that they would be willing to give us more, but instead it's the opposite. And I just don't understand what 2K is doing this year. Is it really that hard to add a new player or just add existing players into Triple Threat and stuff like that for people to make MT, make them sellable, or maybe just add a new player. Maybe add an Evolution Giannis that is a diamond that evolves all the way to a dark matter that you get from a locker code, stuff like that. They used to do that. They did that with like Westbrook one year. They did that with other players. And you could literally add anybody, bro. Maybe a James Harden. He had a crazy game in the playoffs. You know, maybe you can add, you know, Dylan Brooks, I guess. You know, he went fishing. Maybe John Morant. So there's so many beautiful cards on 2KDB 2K that you can literally just take inspiration from. You can be like, oh, look at this. People want Anthony Davis. They want James Harden. They want an MVP. They want all these players. Maybe we should add them, you know, through a locker code. You know, even a Clay Thompson. Like, is it really that hard to just give us a free Clay Thompson from a locker code? Like, is it, is it really going to hurt you that much, 2K? Because clearly people are still buying MT, and you're even falsely banning people now, too. And instead of making people wanting to play your game, you are just making people not want to play. And I don't understand why you want to do that. Even Gills and Isaiah Thomas at this point, bro. An evolution one. From a gold all the way to a dark matter at least. And there's just so much that 2K can do to improve their game. And they're just choosing not to. And you can tell because it's so obvious at this point, bro. James Harden again. Dylan Brooks. You know, MB to give us a Kevin Durant. A Russell Westbrook out here. It feels like nowadays all they're updating is people being banned. The pack market. And then that's about it. They are updating the evolutions. Which luckily at least they are updating that but at the same time though not many people can get those players because they're rare as well in the market bro we just checked earlier there's not that many they could have literally added an mvp mb bro is that too much to ask for there's already a dark matter mb so it's not like you'd be crazy you know what i mean they're rare anyway it's not like people are getting them I might as well add a locker code an agenda, anything at this point, please 2K, can you just add anything? And I really think that 2K still does have time to turn it around. All they have to do is literally just add more locker codes, add agendas, free players, increase the pack odds, and then people will be way more positive than they are right now because now you're even falsely banning people. And I'm just hoping that 2K does better. I do want to hear what you guys think down below in the comments. Let me know what you think about it. And I'll be sure to let you know if they do end up changing anything. But for now though, this will be this one. Definitely check out the previous video I uploaded where we ended up unlocking my boy AD. And as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.